college life. It is a time of untold opportunity. Where one's reputation is forever made, or forever dashed against the rocks of social blunders. More first impressions will be made this first semester of your freshman year than at any other time in your life. Pressure's on. And girls like that really raise the stakes. But you're a freshman. You don't know how everything works yet. Like swiping your ID to get into the dorm. So, how do you dive into a totally new environment and expect anyone to look up to you when you have no freaking idea what's going on? Honestly, just act like you know what you're doing and make it up as you go. Now to meet the roommate. There are only two possibilities here. Either he is a fine, intelligent, dashing gentleman with whom I will enjoy my time at Cedarville, or he is a no-good, smelly fool of a man that I will despise every day. However, according to Schrodinger, he's both right now. That is, until I open the door. Oh, hey, how are ya? See what place do we tell? Uh, you must be my new roommate! <laughs> Uh, uh, my name is Snazzle. Snazzle Barnum. Snazzle Barnum. Uh, what's your name, Pokey? Uh, Pokey? Your name's Pokey? Oh, no, my not, goodness. No, um, name's Nicholas. Nicholas Green. Ah, oh, good thing, too. I mean, what kind of a name is Pokey? What kind of a name is <laughs> Snazzle? What's that? Uh, nothing. I'm just wondering, uh, what kind of name Snazzle is? Where does that come from? Well, you see, the thing is, that's not my real name. Oh, uh, what's your real name? John. So what brings you to these parts, stranger? Uh, well, I go to school here. Wrong answer! You see, this is your dorm room. You go to classes in all the other buildings. Right. So what's your major? Business. <gasps> Penny Winky, that's my major too! Really? Fleet of Flattle. I just don't know how I'm supposed to respond to that. Well, so where are you from? Uh, Columbus. My dad owns a business corporation there called Green Incorporated. You might what? Uh, Green Incorporated. No, I know my colors. What was that other word? Columbus. Yeah, what is that? Some kind of soap? So you're a business major. That's right. You see, I'm an advertising focus. You know that wave of propaganda that sweeps you off your fetals and carries you to the moon? Marketing. Great. I'm heading more the business management route. My dad's really pushing me to be a great business leader. You know he started his corporation from scratch. So, what you're saying is you want to be like him? Well, I guess I hadn't really thought of it that way, but, I mean, I suppose you're right. Kids these days. Well, I was trying to be like their parents. At least they're not listening to their rap music. Right. Well, you see, the thing is, you know, you should get some, uh, Experience starting a small business here at the Ville. Well, that's exactly what I was thinking. You know, I'm starting, I'm looking to start a small business. I just don't really know, don't know what to make or sell. You know what? I have a friend. He's an accountant. You know one of those number people? And yeah. he might have an idea. Great. Uh, when should we go meet him? Well, you know what? He's in the lounge right now. Let's go, let's go, let's go. See, the thing is, I told him to wait for me. Uh, how long has he been out there? A uh, couple hours. A couple hours. Uh, seriously? Yeah, he's, he's not um, he's not really uh, your fleeble flabble kind of guy. He's more of a donut, really. A donut. Now, well, hey there, Stan, now. Stan, I'd like you to meet my roommate, Nicholas. Hi. See what I mean? <laughs> hey, hey, Snazzle, that's my calculator. You look, I made it say oboe shoes. <laughs> See what I mean? A donut. A donut? Well, yeah, a, a donut. You see, you really wouldn't understand. Well, he's not the only one. Who else doesn't understand? Sir Walter Raleigh? Sir Walter Raleigh happens to be dead, Mr. Barnum. But this pickpocket is very much alive. She was trying to steal your bag, Stan. 
Why would she want to do that? All of a sudden, there's my textbooks. Well, either she is eager to read your textbooks, or more likely, she thought it was full of money. For your information, I was trying to restore this pen I found. Stan, have you ever seen this pen before? It's possible. I've seen a lot of pens. You can't blame him. Uh, he's a donut. I'm going to write you a demerit, little lady. You can appeal later if you wish. Wait. I didn't do anything wrong. I promise. You can tell him later in the appeal. Wait a second. Her story's true. She's with us. And why did you wait until now to say anything? Well, frankly, <laughs> I kind of like the idea of getting her in trouble, but, um, you know, joke had gone far enough. Mm -hmm. So, what are all of you doing here? We all work together. You work together? Yes. On what, if I may ask? We make greeting cards. Is that so? I don't have a clue. Yes, yes. We're making a greeting card business called Get Well Soon Greeting Cards. My roommate and I are business majors here, you see. And Stan here is an accountant. And how do you fit into all of this? Well, they need an art major if they're going to make cards. It's true. Well, I've got my eye. As for the rest of you, if I find anything fishy about this greeting card business, I'll slam 15 demerits on all your heads. I'll be sure to wear a helmet that day. <laughs> Thank you for saving me. I can't stand that guy. What a jerk. Wait, you, you've met him before? Yeah, loads of times. He's one of those really uptight RAs. He thinks he has all the responsibility in the world to write up everyone for everything. Rumor is, he tried to write up Dr. Brown. That's just bubble fries. And now, we have to make greeting cards. Personally, I love the idea. You know, we can make Merry Christmas, and Happy Easter, even like Merry Labor Day. Or we could do Happy Groundhog Day. Snazzle. No one buys cards for any of those holidays. They will when we're done with them, Nick! Name's Nicholas. Please don't call me Nick. Whatever, Nick. But we need to get to work. I brought my crayons! Wait, wait. You, you guys are serious? You actually want to do this? Well, that, and we have to do it. So that was creepy. Yeah, never do that again. Well, you see, if that RA comes back and we haven't made any progress, He'll be more upset than a rodeo bolus on the street. 